You might think a destroyer is just a fast ship that chases submarines or escorts bigger vessels, but with the Arleigh Burke class, it's something else. It's a floating fortress that can vaporize ballistic missiles mid-flight, hunt stealthy subs in the deep, and launch surgical strikes on targets a thousand miles away, all while outrunning most threats at over 30 knots. With 74 active in 2025 and counting, these beasts have downed Houthi drones in the Red Sea and stared down Chinese fleets in the Pacific. But what's the real strategic magic behind them? And how do they crush it in high-stakes ops? Strategic roles first. Arleigh Burks are multi-mission masters. Designed in the 1980s to counter Soviet threats, but evolved for today's chaos. At their core, the Aegis combat system with SPY-1D or upgraded SPY-6 radar in Flight 3, tracking 100-plus targets at once for air defense supremacy. They're the shield for carrier strike groups, downing aircraft, missiles, and even ballistic threats with SM-6, SM-3, and ESSM missiles from 96 VLS cells, anti-submarine warfare, towed sonar arrays, ASROC rockets, and MH-60R helos hunt subs like ghosts, surface strikes, Harpoons or naval strike missiles gut enemy ships, while tomahawks hit land targets 1,000 plus miles away. By 2025, 51 are BMD capable, pivotal in distributed maritime ops against hypersonics. Plus, hybrid electric drives on 34 ships cut fuel costs for long patrols, and NBC citadels let them operate in dirty environments. They're not just destroyers, they're fleet quarterbacks projecting power from the South China Sea to the Persian Gulf. See this table? Arleigh Burks juggle rolls like no other. With 30 plus knot speed and 300 strong crews sustaining ops worldwide. Now, real world ops. These ships don't sit idle. Since 1991, they've led in every hot zone. Gulf War? USS Arleigh Burke herself fired tomahawks in Desert Storm. Post 9-11, they patrolled the Arabian Gulf, hunting pirates off Somalia. In 2011's Libya Ops, they launched 100-plus tomahawks for NATO strikes. Fast forward, RIMPAC exercises test Pacific dominance against China Sims. In the Black Sea, they've shadowed Russian fleets. But 2023 to 2025? The Red Sea's their proving ground. USS Kearney downed 14 Houthi drones and missiles in one night, part of Operation Prosperity Guardian. USS Laboon and others intercepted Iranian-backed barrages, saving shipping lanes but burning $4 million SM-6s on cheap drones. A tactical win, strategic headache. In 2025, amid Venezuela tensions, one intercepted a fishing vessel, sparking diplomatic fire. And with China rising, the Navy's extending 12 flight wine ships' lives into the 2030s for Indo-Pacific patrols. Just last month, HII wrapped sea trials on DDG-128, Flight 3 with SPY-6 radar, ready for hypersonic threats. Phalanx CIWS swaps to RAM launchers this year boost close defense. They're in 90% of U.S. carrier groups, from Arctic ops to cyber-integrated strikes. Challenges? Costly upgrades and drone asymmetries strain budgets, but their versatility keeps them essential. Longest U.S. destroyer run ever, 